contestant number two come on up hello 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 interesting and you are uh name age mm -hmm. you for a living my name is sunshine i'm 35 years sunshine let's check you out sunshine um uh, uh the camera angles are terrible to be honest yep yep we film commentary after recording the whole show mm. interesting interesting mm -hmm. military man got me hot for the skin color comment that's why he was his favorite. Why though? It sounds like that was something that I think she said that would it happened after yeah. they recorded or something. So um she said she would have chose contestant number five, but what I'm curious why number five though. Yeah, that's a good point. Why number five? I, mean, I got I got a sneaky suspicion. You are contestant number two. One, two, three, four. Richard Simmons? You would have chose Richard Simmons. Oh, that's number five. That's number five. <laughs> oh, we said that was like the Yo. if Richard Simmons and uh and Bruno Mars had a child. Yeah, he's Richard Simmons and Bruno. He's Ruth, he's he's no, Richard Mars. Four. Okay, she said number four. One, no, two, number four. Okay. One, two, oh, three, four. Spider dreads. Oh. Yeah, he still gives me fuck boy. I'm sorry. I don't know if I should be cussed. I should be cussed. Yeah. I should be cussed. Yeah. That's your type, huh? Interesting. Hair yeah, looks nicer without the braids. Oh. oh, I was about to say, what do you like about him? Why did you, why would you choose him exactly? Why are you doing that? I'm going to, um, I'm going to look up Sunshine. Come on up. Hello, hello, hello. And you are? Uh, name, age, mm -hmm. you for a living? My name is Sunshine. I'm yeah, right there. Her name is Sunshine. Yeah, is that her government? I mean, like, at this Retire. Point, like, use your real names, please. Retire the Travis Scott style, please. Exactly. Uh, yes. Yes, please. That's exactly it's, what I was thinking. Like, it's very young guy. It's like high school guy kind of thing. Like, I think there's certain hairstyles that as a, uh, mature adult man uh you should kind of just be rid of yeah you know, but i don't know maybe that's just the old man in me now that coming out here we go sunshine is a great friend of mine she hosts my parties in our city okay i brought her with me so i'm seeing a trend here you said she was your friend like three or four of these guys are friends i mean i, I can understand if it's it sounds like I know T. Pendel mentioned this before. He'll book like fourteen people, and like six will show up. You know of the attrition that happens. So yeah. I, it sounds like he has to kind of get it, um, get a package deal kind of thing. Yeah, and it's probably it it, it probably yeah. is a uh, from a woman's perspective, it's probably better to come with friends too, right? Like you don't want to just show up in a strange city, in a strange place, in a strange building with strange people, and you don't have, you know, people with you. It makes what? sense. Yeah, that's a good point, man. That sounds. It sounds like this would be a fun thing to do because you watch the videos. It seems fun, but the the coordination must be a nightmare. The demand to be on the show really? is very low. I'm guessing. No, that's a surprise. I think wow. there's a lot of people that want, like, my question is, are people going for advertisement? Like, you know, like, let's say I got a business. This is a great way for exposure. Or if I'm mm -hmm. into social media, this is a great way for an internet clout. Uh, I wonder how many people genuinely really are looking for a mate on here. Oh, that's a great. Uh, yeah, I wonder. Let's. I mean, what do you think? What's your What's your point of view now? You were on the show. Was very, it very, like very... something fun to do? Something different? Or or would you have really been open to making a connection? Like, was the intent hoping to meet a potential uh, mate? Interesting. What is this? So all black has an apparel business with. Oh, he did say he had the yeah, um, basketball. Yeah. They're all in social company. media. Like two through, uh, if I saw the lineup, two through five were all in social media to some degree. Yeah. 
Um, well, I know you're commenting, Lex, um, but just looking at Sunshine Social Media, now I'm gonna say this. No, don't bite my head for the off for this one. But looking at her social, she looks a lot better on her social than she does right here. I mean, she she looks looks fine, but on here, I don't know how long ago was this. Okay, so this was three years ago. This picture was three years ago. That was three years ago. Okay. That was two years ago. Okay. So old social media because she was definitely smaller on here. So China's not lived in Florida for the last three years. Okay. Yeah. She wasn't out. So she wasn't out and active. Every single person has something to advertise. Yeah, I, I can see that. Mm -hmm. let, me, let me go start here. So I asked about creative endeavor, endeavors to kind of figure out and on the podcast and anything marketing okay okay the person has something to advertise so, all right okay okay so this is your girl okay. I, again just just like we said about you definitely cute in the face here um definitely social media she looks good on here She's doing her thing. She gives me, she gives me like a Marsha Ambrosia kind of look. You know what I'm talking about? From Flow Tree. Mm, oh, okay, okay, all right, all right, okay. I'm Marsha. I think that's her name. Ambrosia. Ambrosius or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Yes, she looks almost exactly like her. Not a yeah, actually. Uh, you're like a more attractive. I kept getting comments about looking like Lizzo. Ooh, come on. Lizzo. No. You know what? I'm going to give her Lizzo, bro. Yeah, me neither. Me neither. Lizzo's. That's, see, that's. I, I was going to say this earlier, but I didn't. Um, It's like a backhanded compliment, in my opinion. She, yeah, Lizzo has kind of got. She's kind of got a whole thing about her right now where she's like the spokesperson for being a big girl. I think it's I think it's the image. I think it's the image because there's no humbleness to it, right? Yeah. I think I said this before, like, you know. Uh yeah, I think it's her overall image that's a huge turn off for her. Um, well, and it's it's the image, but then it's also like the the lack of awareness, the, the cockiness. Yeah. It's like there was a whole thing a couple of years ago, or last year or something like that, where she was like trying to pull Chris Evans. Um Captain America, and she was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna get him." Well, she recently lost weight. Okay, um, I'm gonna go find it. She was which saying, is she was wild. Like, which is wild because like, yeah, he can have the whole any thing girl. was to remain healthy, re remain where you're at because that was healthy. But that was the big push. It was like was big is beautiful the way it is, and all that kind of stuff. Yep, big is beautiful the way it is. Body positivity. Don't change nothing. You know, you can still be healthy at any weight. No, no, no. You're lying. No. Um, so that's good. Okay, that's good for you, and it's good for her as well. Um, yeah, yeah maintaining that health is a, right. a great thing. All right, I'm gonna push this for thirty-five years old. She's thirty-five. Um, Okay, I probably would give him a little bit older, but all right. I am a full time mom and a part time hustler. Okay, and um, and what do you do for yes. fun? Uh, for fun, I also make music. I curate events. I host parties, and I like to be out parties. in nature. That's one of my favorite things to do. Outside, she lost oh, weight. Yeah, be outside <laughs> what are some of your non negotiables? Um, I'm a mom, so you have to have some type of passion. You know, you don't have to be fully, you know, at the success level you want to be at. But I just need a man who's passionate about what he does. Right. Lack of passion here. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, uh, four. Right, let me test the number two, please. Hi, fellas. 
Oh, you got the pencil. Okay. <laughs> hey, it's my name's Sunshine. I got to. Yo. So let's sit down. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm liking the energy already. I'm I'm liking the energy already a little bit. I know I was kind of, I'm, I'm being kind of hard on her real at the first, but I don't know. I don't know. See, that's another thing. You, you, if you, that's the 80 20, right? 80, you, the 80 20, 20 rule. 20%, yep. she's probably a little bit heavier than what I would like, but that personality comes out. She's kind of cute. If she lost like 30 pounds, she'd be right in that range of handle ability, you know what I'm saying? Hand ability, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, you want to be able to handle your lady. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. Um, the personality is going to throw a couple more points on top of that. So digging but, the energy. Uh, yeah. I think. I think there's a new newer age of men that are because everybody now is like active sexually beyond like beyond anything. So I think to like once people get to a certain age, they kind of assume you're coming with a child. So there's that aspect of it. For me personally, if I was a single man uh, without any children, I would have popped. Just on hearing the child, um, mm -hmm. and not even turning around, but that's just, uh, yeah. Now, so, cool. so that is true. If I were single, as I am right now, I don't have any kids, I'm married, no kids. So, if I were single with no kids, even at 36, mm -hmm. it would be a little bit of what you're saying there, but I would. I think I will be in that boat where I would have to consider a woman with at least one kid. If it was yeah. one, you have to at this point. At, yeah, at this point, because at, at this point, every marriage-minded man, every if every marriage-minded man wanted to just like next month, you tell them right now, hey, next month if you're not married by X date, you'll you'll die. Mm -hmm. Every man would have to, like, not every man, but there would be a large group of men that would have to um, take on being a, a stepfather. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I feel like there's not enough women. Like, once you get, like, to, like, 27 and up, mm -hmm. they're coming with a child. They're coming with a child. Yeah. That's true. Uh, name, age, what you do for a living while you pop your balloon. My name is Ali, I'm 28, and I'm a filmmaker. Um, I pop my balloon because I just don't date women with kids. No disrespect. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> well, so Lex, I don't know if you're still on, but I guess you you have a kid as well, right? So I think you would have been. No, I thought she said no kids. I thought she said she. Oh, she have doesn't have any kids. No, no, no. Oh, uh, dang. Okay, I, I, I miss uh, I miss that one. So I'm, yep, she's childless. Yeah, yeah. I'm childless. No, not just childless. Not childless just childless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's and I think I said that earlier too. So uh, let me read, let me. She has a cat. I so she's got a fur baby. Uh, that's like a half point off. Uh, oh, so did okay. uh, did she say that she wouldn't date somebody with kids as, as well? Would you, would you date somebody with a kid? That's a great question. Yeah. And while you're typing that, go uh, go play the video. <laughs> uh, have you ever had experience? Have you ever, or is it just something that you don't do? Yeah, it's just something I don't do. I don't, I don't do with that. So, you know, respectfully. Respectfully. Uh, uh, name, age, what you do for a living, and why you pop your balloon? My name is Michael. Um, I'm 31. I'm in the military. Um, I pop my balloon just because of the kids. Yeah. Um, I'm more like a free person, so I like to like get up and do things and not have to really worry about. Who's gonna watch this? Okay. Who's mm -hmm. You know, you're not ready for a kid yet. That's all that is. He likes he likes a single life. He likes to get up and go. I mean, get up and go. Ain't no who's gotta watch the little one. Where the little one's gonna go? Yeah. The mother is literally a dead dude. We're dead. That's smart. Look, your child is. That makes sense. I'm as a logical. As a lot that as a logical reasoning, I don't think there's too many uh, men who would tell women um, to date men that have children as well either. Um, 
And you know what? So I'm going to say this, and I would love to hear your perspective on this, Lex, but I would go out and venture to say that a woman at your age, 27 if I'm not mistaken, with no kids, and okay, sure, you could lose some, a couple pounds, whatever. Let's say you did that, no kids, within the next year, 28, right? Yeah. You couldn't tell me she wouldn't be at the higher end of the food chain there compared. And she's still in her 20s, no kids, marketing manager for an amusement park. I mean, she's not she's not pushing with the – um. Oh, here, I'm going to put the comment up. She's not no, pushing that's a, that's with the great, Yeah, that's a great opinion to have. She would be kind of top of the food chain of the, of the data market for the women, I think. Yeah, um, that, that's a that's a great opinion to have. I wish more women probably had that same sentiment that you did. Um, it would help them get further in the dating market. I mean, just think about it. If if a man has a child under five, if if a woman, so that's great. Because for me, if a woman has a child under five, I'm automatically just going to just say that. The baby father has a foot in the door always. If he ever wanted to come back and reclaim his family, he's got one foot in the door just on the fact that for the child's sake, they have to have interaction between each other. Right. That's not a good place to be in. Right. Because you, as the outside person, you you have no say in that, really. Oh, did y'all see that video? Women take... I'm take the family back. Yep. Yep. I want to. Ooh. Yep. They'll take their family back. Yeah. Talk about a female hey, perspective. Listen, that is great. Because yes. I, I would think the same thing. Like, I want my child to be with the father, or I want the child to be with, with me. I don't want another man around my child. And now I see you dating someone else. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely going to try to salt the earth. You know, I'm going to. I'm gonna get back in there, and that that aligns with what we were talking about last night with the one guy, right? Remember the the girl? It's always the women that ask. I feel like, yeah, I don't ever hear a man asking, "Why don't you go back to your baby's daddy and be with him or something like that?" It's always the women. It's like, why wouldn't you go back and um go back to your baby mama and have, especially if it's under five, go Ooh, back with him yeah. and and all this kind of stuff. And usually, like the guy said last night. I want a happy relationship with somebody that I want to be with and not just force it and make it a bad, bad example for the kid, which is a, it seems like a, I know we said it was a bad answer last night. It seems like the, the noble thing to say, but even, even less is saying is like, I would, if I was the woman, I would take my family back. If you came back. So she would try to make it work. I yeah. think that's a, what a lot of women are, are saying when they ask that question is like, uh, why don't you make it work? I'm sure she wants to make it work. Go back and make it work, you know? Um, mm. That's a that's a good point. See, I didn't even think of it like that. Um, that that was such a sure thing that some women actually want. You know, I don't know. And it makes sense because you want the child to, to, to have that connection. Because really, unless this is like a deadbeat, right? You know, mm. just a degenerate type person. No one's really going to treat someone else's child better than you'll treat your own. Yeah. Yeah. I, I hope you don't mind. I'm, I'm putting this up here, uh, Lex. Um, I think your your comments are very valuable mm -hmm. in what we're talking about. Um, so I have a question for you about that. Do you feel, because if you were two years old when it happened, do you recall anything? I mean, you're two years old. I, I don't know how much you were even remember, really when the divorce happened, but um, you guys are fine. I used to have you. Oh, sweet. Um, uh, I wondered do you, if you've never had that dual parent household experience, do you think you were actually really affected negatively or positively, or were you just a normal kid? Um, Cause I know, Having both parents there would be like, yeah, you can have both mm -hmm. parents kind of helping out with stuff. But if you've never had that to begin with, then your experience is your experience. It's all it's already a zero. But maybe I'm thinking about it too mathematically. I mean, no, you, I think that's a great point. Uh, and she even says it right here. Oh, yeah. yep. 
Yep. Uh, this one here. Nope. Saw my father four times a year. We barely have a relationship affected how I view it. Oh, okay. So I'm thinking about the raising, not necessarily the interaction and development of relationships. Mm. I don't have to let man run me over in relationships. Interesting. Which is which is very um, unfortunate because it, it tends to um, make it difficult. Remember when I was saying about going through multiple traumas and going through other bad oh. relationships? That yeah. trauma, it makes it harder the more that that occurs. It's going to be harder for uh, someone to pair bond with a genuine marriage-minded man, you know, because she's going to have walls up, which is justifiable. I'm not saying it's not, but had she known, you know, the things to look for, if she had, you know, dad right there in the home to school her on, you know, little boys and young men and what what we have a proclivity to do, you know, unfortunately, sometimes, um, yeah, she could have had a head start in the in the dating market. Hey, uh, Lex Longshot, um, I just thought about it. I know you're commenting and stuff, but if you're available, do you want to just join on the stream? I mean, let me know if you want to just jump on in. I can send you a link, but um, just an invitation. Um, yeah, that's that's a good point, man. Knowing the difference between Positive and negative relationships, how they how it fix your, your view going out on the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, interesting, interesting. All right. We only 15 minutes in. <laughs> I, I love looking at that. It's like, oh we got, well, 15 minutes into an hour and it's been two hours. Okay. I'm so I'm a You definitely look look at yourself. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Name, age, and what you do for a living, what you talk to for a living. Justice, I'm 25, and I run an apparel company. Um, maybe like pop, just the kids. Um, and like just the age gap. I think it's a little too big for me. I'm maybe uh, younger than you. <laughs> Wait, that's not a flex. That's not a flex. What'd she say? She said she's dated younger than him. Oh, wait, how, how old was, was he again? Part? I don't know. We were That's literally just talking about we that. Were just literally talking about that. See, I still. Yeah, Not okay. A we, flex. We went through... <laughs> Not a flex at all. Wait, dated? She said dated, right? Or did she say... that term is used so loosely now? Okay. Okay, I was gonna say like. <sighs> you know, like when people say oh, friends, and yeah. yeah, you gotta kind of suss out the friendship. It's a friendship or acquaintanceship, yeah. or yeah. do you barely know him at all, really? Oh, no, he's just a friend. Okay, what, well, like, oh, or this friend had sex with you? Like, yeah, you know, like, yeah, they're yeah, in a friend zone, but they're yeah, not. She, oh, yeah, no, Stacy, she's my friend. It's like, yeah, I'm not going to tell you that I had sex with Stacy, though. Yeah, you know, you, you got to dig in when people are just telling you like these surface level answers. It's like, no, look, me and Stacy never had a thing. We've never been a thing. We've never messed around. I've never liked her. She's never liked me. That's mm -hmm. the level of friendship. But it, it, it's the same way when people say uh, dated. And it's like, like, was that your boyfriend? Did he claim you as his girlfriend? Do you know yeah. his last name? Have you been to his home? There's so many people that haven't been to the person's house or residence that they're messing with. That's wild. Yeah, that sounds wild. Um, man, she said it. I love it. I love that type of you know bubbly energy. So yeah, twenty five. Yeah, yeah. Right, well, uh, twenty five. Like when you did like oh, about your age, like I go five years, I think max. Okay. If it's you know if the connection's there, but um. You said you're 35, right? I think you would benefit from an older woman. You seem very mature. Ooh, ooh, interesting. She's really pushing it, huh? Or remember what I told you? What I found was my uh, uh, like younger, the type of women that usually were uh, attracted to me. Was older women, my mom's age, 
they are very aggressive. Oh, oh, you did say that last yeah. night. They are very aggressive. Are you okay. getting some kind of feedback in your ear? Feedback? No. Okay, huh? no, it's gone now. It's gone. Okay, she said, uh, send info to her IG. Okay, let's take a, let's take a shot. I'm going to take a shot here. While you uh, try to do that, I'm going to see if I can grab some more water. Yeah, yeah, do your thing, do your thing. Uh -oh, where are you at? Where are you at? Give us a minute. We're going to get it set up here. I need to do, I need to be on rough reviews. All right, take a smoke break. I believe he has. Um, da, 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 da. He probably ran off to get some water. I can actually drop a link in the chat. Oh, 
All right. Can you hear me? Yeah. I dropped the link um, in the chat. Oh, okay. Perfect. Yeah, I'm still sitting there trying to. I had to go use the restroom. <laughs> I'm just getting back. So. She was asking, did, did, did we figure out the uh, stream yard? And so if you posted it there, that's good. Now I'm posting it, sending it to her as well. So. So it should be all of it. All right, cool. Well, while she is doing that, hopefully she can yep, join, join us. Yeah. Oh, 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 she's popped up. Hello, hello. Can you hear us? Hi. Hey. Yo, what's going on? One second. I don't know why it keeps popping out of here. Can you guys see me? Nope. No. But we can hear you loud and clear. That's very interesting how you guys cannot see me. Let's see what my camera settings are. Pro of hand. Oh, yeah. There it is. Okay. Awesome. You're welcome. Hi. Okay. Let's see. Cool. Here, let's see. 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 Let's
YouTube, everything, because he reviews stuff and then he does his own pop the balloons. So, um, yeah, like you said, it's phenomenal. What's the last year? Is it, is it even a year? I don't think. Within 2024, I can say we're pretty much at the halfway mark of the year. Yeah. Not, so I've started seeing it more on my For You page on TikTok and Facebook. You know, I'm at that age where I scroll through Facebook more. Um, and like yeah. there's a lot of dating groups that I'm in. And is this your man groups? They put the little oh. videos in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, I, oh, man, that when I found out about is this your man groups, I was like, is this a real thing? That's crazy. Is this a thing? Because guess what? It, those guys in the group are some of the most desirable of men. So they go around through more of the women in that that area. That is wow. That's a lot to to even say that to, for it to be a real thing. It's not just in the movies or TV shows or in these drama shows. It's realities, people's realities. You have to put up a chat board group to find out, you know, where your man's at. Yeah, and, and now it's getting to the point where a lot of the women are being paid to join these groups and snitch for the men. What? No, what do you mean? Snitch for them? Yeah, like if there's like oh. separate groups exposing us being put in these groups. <laughs> and there's also male versions, uh, female versions of this page too. Is this, is this your woman? Really? Dude, it's such a zeitgeist of this whole thing, man. Like, the way it's, it's so, man, you think dating is just dating. You find somebody, you date them, you mm -hmm. have some babies, you get mm -hmm. married, you grow old, you die, rinse and repeat, you know? And yeah. no, you have to pay somebody. To now pay we're somebody popping to balloons <laughs> or we're asking 17,000 women in a Facebook group if this if anyone else is talking to this man. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, um, okay, before we go any further, I just wanted to let you know, are you going to stick around for the, the rest of this uh, video? Yeah, it's my day off. I almost went to the club tonight, and I was like, you know what? I had a long week. Let me go home yeah. and watch and read the comments, because I've been going through the comments of all the videos that's been out about us, you know, yeah. watching the reactions that are coming out slowly. I accidentally thought this was like, a video that was already made. I'm like, oh wait, this is actual live stream. Okay, I can comment. Yeah. Yeah, well, thank you. Thank yes, you. we popped. Freddy, did you hear that? We popped up in a live stream. Yeah, <laughs> we that's popped right. up in some yeah, you were really like, I, I typed in pop the balloon. You guys were like the second or third Ooh. thumbnail. Wow. Ooh. Okay. So your okay. SEO is up there. Getting it. Getting it. Okay. Well, so uh, just kind of fill you in on how we do this and what we've been doing in this kind of thing. Um, we do stop a lot, as you probably have seen. We stop a lot because we comment on like every little thing. We pick apart social media, pick apart personality, outfit, body language, eyes, you know, um, things we would say, all that kind of stuff. Um, we go a couple of hours, but we'll try to definitely um, get through as much as we can. So, all right, going on to Sunshine. So, oh, yeah, we were just talking about Sunshine. She's a little older. She's, she's 35. And I think our boy here just said he was 25. And cool. yeah, actually, let's let's go back a little bit just so we can kind of just recap on their on their interaction. I go five years, I think, max. If it's you know, if the connection's there. But um you said you're 35, right? I think you would benefit from an older woman. You seem very mature. I think I'm mature, but it's good. It's flattering. It is flattering to know when you're desired by a woman as a man, because you don't usually get that a lot, no. unless you're unless you're him. I mean, you yeah. know, if you're that guy, you probably get it all the time. But to average normal guys, you don't hear that. You don't hear that. Actually, and usually, if you do, it's from older women. Like, yeah. I don't hear that from no other women around my own age. It's always older women. When yeah. I was younger, when I was 19, 20, 21, it's yeah. always been older women. And now, uh, at 37, it's, you know, women that are 50. So it's it's always women. Yeah. 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 Um, so with that being said, Lex, we've, we've had a lot of discussions in the last two streams or so about 
different things. And one thing I would love to get your opinion on is the it guy. There's a guy out of the group of guys who is the it guy. You know, mm -hmm. he usually gets all the girls. He's usually the guy that's, you know, he's going to be confident. Um, have you ran into this? Is this something that from your point of view, you've seen it, you've worked your way around it? It's like, okay, that's the it guy. Or have you seen yourself fall for the it guy versus the guy next to him that does not get as much play in that aspect? So based off of my experience. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> so, so I'm not the it girl, but... I get the it guy in private a lot. Oh. You said that. I said that. You said that. I said that. Yep. Yeah. Man. Even though, like, you know, my mom tells me I'm pretty all the time, but I'm realistic. I'm I'm not the most perfect woman, like, in my group of friends. You know, like, my friends get more attention than me. But I, if a homeboy is trying to holler at me, like, most likely I'm more attracted to the other homeboy, and I end up, you know, having a little thing or something yeah like the it guy out of the group you know so interesting yep yep you said it's it. learning is learning to discern uh in mm -hmm. uh intention of a man um what's his true intention i mean mm -hmm. usually when we see someone where we already know uh that we're physically attracted to him so in general if a guy comes up and he's approaching you it's just not because he wants to know how what your day was like. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. There's a sexual intent, you know, we're men of visual creatures. Right. Okay. okay. But I felt yeah. like, uh, you know, what's his name again? Uh, in, all, in all black. All black? Military oh, guy at the end? Yeah, we just call him military number yeah. six. <laughs> no, not, not, not military, the one next to military. I felt like. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I felt like he had to be the it guy out of all the guys on the lineup after seeing the Instagram and, and getting to know who he was after recording um, because he was most established. He was the most normal, less comments, less negative comments. He wasn't ganging up on nobody, very polite, but also I felt like he was also there for advertising, but he just never had the chance to. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So now I make a comment about him when we um, were going through the intro, I was like, I think we did say he would probably get some attention, right? I think he, because we even sized it up. It's like, all right, Dapper Dan over here, um, he looks old, but maybe, I don't know, maybe he might get some play, but he's short. That's going to be his biggest factor in the beard. He's too short with the beard. Mm -hmm. um, the other guys are tall. Automatically, they're going to get attention. They actually were wearing heeled cowboy boots. Two and three. You said it. I said it. You said I was it. like, you're wearing platforms, bro. So I'm here. I'm here busting the myths and the assumptions. Okay. I was there in the room. Okay. Yes. Yep. They, yeah. They at the at the after we recorded everything, I looked down at everyone's shoes. Shoes. I used what? to sell shoes in college. Okay. Shoes is very important to me. I'm like, these motherfuckers are wearing cowboy boots. What cowboy the hell? Boots. This is really good because we've said the same thing. Yes. I even said women will check out your shoes. That's a thing that they do. Women check men's shoes. It's, it's just a thing. I don't know why, but they do. Shoes just shoes can ruin an outfit, and mm -hmm. shoes tell a story. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're always in new shoes, you're materialistic because you got a bunch of damn shoes. If you wear right. the same pair of shoes all the time, it's either you don't care or you're you're minimalist or you're like struggling you know so um shoes is shoes kind of be a necessity or luxury to people so mm -hmm. yeah just gotta just look at the shoes first and you know if you're uh wearing some bobos you know yeah you know. if okay so <laughs> you're on a date you're getting another guy he, he's already met the the physical requirement so you, you're there in front of them Mm -hmm. then the shoes aren't up to par like is that an instant ax um uh i'll give it like a 15 percent of your grade for okay. for the shoes interesting the shoes the shoes i i knew it was okay i knew there was a thing around shoes and women you know. what about feet we're, in, we're still at the, at the cusp of the end of summer. 
and people wear their toes out. Mm -hmm. So how are you about feet versus what if they wear flip flops with socks, you know, Ooh. or flip flops with no, you know, and the feet are back, like maybe a little crusty, crusty nail or something like that. So, I mean, over the years in my younger age, I didn't really care if a guy was wearing socks with slides, but it's more of the choice of the slide or open toe shoe that I'm looking at. You know, um, there are certain slides that I feel like just look very, very tacky and uncomfortable and I should never like the Velcro slides, <laughs> you know, they are just really lazy. Um, yeah. I just feel like Crocs have replaced the slide mm -hmm. and I think uh. Crocs are very acceptable. Crocs with socks or without, depending on the situation. Okay. Interesting. I never even, I never threw shoes into the whole dynamic at all. And then personally. if you're wearing thong flip flops, they have to be either like really nice quality and like, like, you know, if we're going to, to eat brunch on the beach, sure, you know, but I don't want to see you put on athletic slides to go somewhere that an open toe shoe is okay in. Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> there's a time and place for every open toe shoe. Wow. Okay. There you go. Open toe shoes. Slides. The whole shoe dynamic. <laughs> All right. Let's see what Sunshine got. He's a guy to approach you in person in public. Would you would you entertain him? Would you find him attractive? I would. Um, I think he's an attractive man. It looks like he has a goal of his own. I think that's attractive. So, right. yeah, I would tell him. What about him, right? I don't want to necessarily approach him. I'm not very judgy, so I talk to anybody. Like I said, I curate events, so mm -hmm. you never know okay. who you're in the room with. Right. So I would totally um, get to know him, but he wouldn't be a person that I would necessarily go up to. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for being honest. And, um, and uh, what about him right there? I think you're a good looking guy. guy, just not my personal type. And I got a thing for a little bit of extra melanin. I don't know. I don't know that much. Okay. Thanks. She didn't say color. She didn't say color. She said a little extra melon. So little she is categorizing in her own words, right? It's that weird dynamic where women prefer dark skinned men. They say, I want me a black brother. I want me a dark brother. And, and, as soon as a man says something, anything about a woman's color, he's immediately a colorist. So that is the thing that came up before. I think T. Pinnell said that in one of the episodes too. But um, I will say, well, so I will caveat your statement a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna say women. I know women are the primary ones who probably have said it on some of these. I think that's a, I think that's a natural phenomenon all around. Um, I said a couple of years ago that. I think you'll see a lot of light skin people, men and women, go for dark skin people, and vice versa. Dark skin usually go for light skin. The matchup usually kind of hit. I don't see a lot of dark skin with dark skin, light skin, light skin. That's that's me. So can I chime in on this? Yeah, 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 so yeah please. I am a mixed woman. I identify as black, but I am very mixed. Okay. Um, I am. Okay. Uh, according to my ancestry test, majority, I'm about like 30% black, 40% Indian from South Asia, and um, the rest of it's like European. I don't claim any of that. But yeah. I've noticed when a darker skinned man approaches me, a lot of the compliments that I get is on my hair. Mm -hmm. And if I'm not in the sun and I'm a little bit lighter because I do change colors, um, you know, your skin tone and your hair are so pretty. I, I I close my ears immediately. You're fetishizing me. You know, a lot of these men and these women think about their kids. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not a Yorkie trying to <laughs> trying to make some mixed breed pit bulls. You know, right. I've been viewing this as men choosing women based off of their features and mainly skin tone, but I'm I'm hearing about my hair and just different things. So, um, you know, they're not trying to really explain, you know, what they want their kids to look like, you know? Yeah. You can pick your partner, but you can't really choose what your kids are, are gonna look like. 
you know, yeah. feature wise, you can have a baby with a white man, it comes out dark skin, you know, but yeah. you know, that's just the ignorance in our community right now where people are just thinking more about their kids because my dad, right, he got with my Indian mother and when they divorced, guess where he went? to just black woman, I'm his only kid. And he's fine with only having me, he has his pretty baby. So that, me and Sunshine are Jamaican, so we were raised to kind of keep a certain bloodline going. So my mom encourages me to speak to Asian men. What? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, okay, that, that was so, a- was So a me and Sunshine being Caribbean, like we hear things about dating people that will make pretty kids. Mm-hmm. So this behavior she's exhibiting is kind of like, you know, you'll actually just keep watching, actually. Okay. <laughs> well, I, before we before we go back, I want to ask you a question. Um, yeah. So do you have a preference yourself in what you date? Or do you prefer white men, black men, any kind of man? Do you, do you look for that at all? So, yourself? so obviously, like, you know, growing up with my mom and the things, you know, she's an Indian woman. She's just like, you know look at that Chinese guy, like you guys be so cute together. Imagine those kids. So until I was about 23, 24, I was just conditioned to look for more ethnic men, of the, you know, Asian or mixed, or even someone that looks more like my dad, who's, both my parents are lighter than me. He, he's like light skinned with green eyes. You know, I'm looking for a man with really nice eyes, certain features. I grew out of that. Yeah. And right now I'm in my whatever likes me stage. And I could be a tall dreadhead with a lazy eye. I haven't attempted to talk to white men, but you know, I'm just whatever approaches me, I'm trying. Okay. Okay. But as of lately, men on a whole, I'm just like, <laughs> so I was very open minded going on to the show. Right. Right. Good. Good. Okay. All right. Let's see what she says. Much, but I'm very much like, let's preserve this black family. And that's my vibe. So. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me just like, go back. So we'll you know, I don't got that much, but I'm very much like, let's preserve this black family. And that's my vibe. So, all right. Uh, name, age, what you do for them, and why you popped with them. So, my name is Alex. I'm 33. I work at Nightlife and I have my own business. And uh, I've not melanated enough for you. I do well, though. I ended up with the trip. You see, I was never really spoke on that. Yeah, there we go. They will break the rules for the one that they want. Break the rules. And one man can be too white, and then the next guy just as white, and it's like, yeah, I'll break the rule for him. If, he, if he's got the, I wonder if the eighty twenty goes into that as well. If that works into the the compromise factor, because it is a compromise, right? Yeah, um, I mean, I, they I, have something guess, you don't want. Yeah, I guess the eighty twenty would work into that favor. Like, okay, she has a preference in darker men, but for a well dressed man yeah. he looks sharp he looks well kept he looks well groomed she will x out the color aspect for you know a sharp dapper dressed man yeah and what's funny oh, God, is God. sorry to cut you off what's funny was i wasn't a fan of how he was dressed nor the beard i was just like honestly he just looks uh, like a genie in a bottle so i i was looking at his aesthetics only mind you like i said in the comments earlier if can you not sit on my computer cat? Um, if um <laughs> life right really number two, away. if the other dude didn't pop his balloon, which I feel like when I popped his, he assumed I didn't like light skins. Mm -hmm. But I would have chose him if his balloon was the last one. I would have matched. You talking about the um you said number four, the Travis Scott looking dude right here. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I felt like he popped his balloon when I popped um, Alex, that's his name, um, because he assumed I didn't like light skins. I, I, that is what I came to the conclusion with that situation. So yeah. they kind of did, they did a vice versa between me and Sunshine. Hmm. You know, this, and I, I, so it's, like you said, Freddie, it's a group think. It's a group think when they hear something they don't like from one person's conversation with another person, and all of a sudden, oh, he said that? pop or she said to, oh pop or oh, i didn't like they said pop it's like if i if i were to ever do a um pop the balloon i swear i would have to i would make more like you can't pop until like a certain point or something like that because it, it's still just it's too 
open and maybe that's the whole point of the pop the balloon right it's to still give you a, cho a choice to say you don't want to be with this person or whatever but i feel like they're popping too soon or they're they're taking themselves out of the game before they even give themselves a chance or they, they assume things so they oh they don't like light scans pop but maybe she would have made an exception for you made an exception you don't for know you. Yeah. it was there was a lot of teamwork yeah on the guy's side and maybe a lot of them or most of them we're just wondering what else could come through those doors because don't forget we're just on the second girl at this point yeah yeah so i was in my head like they are scared of of matching too early and i felt yeah. like that was a con of going oh. fomo uh. that's a real thing the fear fear of missing out fomo so you're like hey i could get this right here or i could just hold out for something potentially better to come through yeah i feel like that's wild man i mean it makes sense but if you keep doing that then you might as well just wait to the very last person then if you do that you miss out on all the other you people that came on through. all the other things yeah so it's best to just choose the person that fits for you as they come out and if they don't fit then you don't match with anybody but get the best fit you know um not whoever is the best in the back who's ever better in the back or something like who likes you? I think you said it already, Lex. That was that, that's right on. Right. I'm Jamaican. Oh, okay. okay. So I, I feel you. I understand. Uh, Jamaica's other. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if she didn't mention the melanated comment, would you have hung on to your balloon? Yeah, I would have. Yep. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. One thing too, like that's just my preference. So, you know, I dated guys. I'm not gonna say white guys, but I dated Latino guys. Like, so, you know, that's just my preference. But see, I'm, okay, I'm sorry, I'll stop it right there. This is what I'm starting to think because some other people said it before they want to date, they don't want to date what they've dated before. And I feel like that's that, your type. So that's your type, but it hasn't been working though, right? Yeah. Is that is that the idea here? It's like maybe you want to try something different or be open to something. Throw that category out of there. My preference. Well, okay. I no, say that. I, I said I if say you that. if you do that, don't tell the guy you're doing that. Because for Ooh. me, all I hear is, oh, you've had such bad success with the ones that are your type that now I'm I'm clearly not your type because you just said you're trying something different now. Yeah. So I'm already like, you know, looking at it negatively. Yeah. Interesting. If that's what you're doing, just don't let the guy know that that's what you're doing. Yeah. Okay. Three balloons, you have any questions for the guys? Maybe one question I can ask all three of them. Uh, what are you passionate about? Okay. That was one of my big things, so I want to know what it is that you're passionate about. All right. Name, age, what you do for a living, and what you're passionate about. Cool. Uh, I'm Jai, 27. Uh, I'm a social media content coordinator at a creative marketing agency. Passionate, I would say honestly just anything kind of like i just like to do things like next month i'm going to a rock concert a weekend after that we're doing a super duper throwback hip-hop party at a resort so how would you be able to accommodate that lifestyle with my children mm -hmm. thanks yep. 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 Uh, yep. <laughs> he, she reminded him of the child and then he realized oh yeah that's not going to work that was wild why was she yeah. saying like that <laughs> No, yeah. I, but it, yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah. It's just, okay. That, that is a uh, an obstacle, unfortunately, for uh, uh, people in the market, in the dating market that have kids. Because, you know, generally, uh, women are going to have the kids with them. Men don't. Mm -hmm. It's just a, one of those negatives that usually, not always, uh, we don't operate in alls over here, but in no. general, women have uh, sole custody of their children, so it yeah. negatively impacts them more than it does the male. Mm. Any uh, any comment, Lex? Anything you want to add to that? Um, I mean, I've been I've been trying it out with fathers, you know, and it's very annoying. Mm. I can't see you this weekend. My baby mama's going out. I gotta watch my son. You know, so it, it's just like from a single woman standpoint where I'm very free <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I got to wait on a man or like 
not get what I want at that second, which is what I was used to when I was strictly no fathers. I got to wait because of a one year old or a child, a child mm -hmm. you know, a lot of cancellations, a lot of broken promises, a lot of compromise. So yeah, it makes sense. Same struggles, different situations. Because yeah. always, it, I, I would say in each of those situations, whether it be um, a mother or a father that's still, you know, out and dating, their child is going to be first priority. And I applaud that. But me as a under 30 year old, unmarried, mm -hmm. I, I, I feel like I'm being robbed. Oh, but if, yeah. I were, if I was already a parent dating another parent, I'll be more understanding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a, I, I, the way you put it. The way you said that is is powerful. You know. Yeah, that's, I just feel like that's why a lot of people rather not be a step parent. I don't want to be robbed of the quality time I could have with a childless man. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. Well, I'm gonna that up. Yeah. <laughs> I love to put that in the forefront because if you can't handle me and mine, then don't even waste time. To, to be open and honest, yeah, sure. again, and um, I really appreciate you, Bonnie. And uh, nobody's catching the curveball after the fact. All right, name, age, what you do for a living? My name is Courtney. I'm 30. Uh, you know, I make music. I work for American Airlines and also content creation. Um, my passion is music. My brother passed away. He's the one who brought me to music, and I just love watching other people make it and me make it as well. So I just absolutely love music. So. Right. Perfect. Thank you. Appreciate it. And uh, name, age, which beautiful living, and why you popped your balloon? Sure. My name is John, 27 years old. Uh, I'm a poet, artist. Uh, I carry events. I feel like there was some compatibility there for sure. Yeah, very beautiful. I mean, you can pop the balloon. We can still put on some of these. <laughs> you know, you work, you talk. Um, but uh, no, honestly, um. Uh, I didn't want to waste your time. I heard your statement and I felt the same sentiment. You know, I didn't want to waste your time. So uh, she said that she didn't want to waste time. You know, she talked about the kids. That's a big deal breaker for me as well. Uh, I don't have any kids myself. So, um, yeah. That's Do cool. any of y'all have kids? Anybody have children? That's why you ain't pop your balloon. Uh, hello. 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 She's got three. What? what the, they're from the same guy. They're, they're from the same. same. It's they're not three for three. It's one for three. A three, three by one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which does it change? No things. No, it doesn't change things. Well, I mean, older, they can watch each other. That's why I was thinking maybe they're staggered. If it was at a thirteen-year-old with a five-year-old, mm, I don't think that's maybe. It just it makes it makes dating harder. Because it's more. And as a guy coming in, if he doesn't have to, no, scratch that. As a father or as a single man, you're still, if he chooses to move forward, he still has to provide for them. Yeah. 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 Okay. She's got three. All right. Yeah, but we have three beautiful days. Go for it. Because my question was going to be, what's your schedule like? Because I'm pretty spontaneous. I work for the airlines. I flew to Japan for thirty dollars, so I like to just move. But you know I what's think... interesting about this spontaneous thing? Mm -hmm. If you can't afford the kids to be spontaneous, that's cool. Like you know what I'm saying? Because there's childcare, there's other things, and you know you're a father, so I'm sure you understand. Yeah, that's cool. Because cool. obviously we're about to talk to their kids also fly free, but I need to be able to just. I mean, I mean, you should have a beautiful dog. I wasn't mad at the lineup. I would have liked a little bit more diversity as far as age range, especially with a couple of us being mom. You know, just a man who's a little bit more um versatile with another thing i love that she doesn't have a crazy amount of tattoos too you know because yeah. it usually yeah. nowadays it seems to be a lot of tattoos but she is 35 she's she's like our age so well no that's not even a flex that's not yeah. even a thing it doesn't 
what, there's people our age that has 30, he has a bunch of tattoos and stuff too. But I guess what I'm trying to say is that I like I like her energy, I like her outfit, I like her hair, I like I like everything about her. Um the only thing that's probably holding her back is like I said, her weight and her um kids. In fact, I think the people only pop because of the kids. If I'm not be, if I'm be honest, right? Yeah, the light skin that, comment and the, and the kids. Yeah, of the last few guys that initially were holding on to their balloons, it was the kids and the light skin comment. But. Yeah. So she, I would say she had a chance. She had a um maybe if she kept going this volume. Volume is probably her, her thing there. Um more guys. All right. What he's looking for would be good for me personally. I would absolutely jump on the line of side. I'm trying to pop some balloon. Like my sister said, you know, we're a little bit older in age. I'm not necessarily looking to build with somebody. I'm trying to look for somebody who invests in me. All right. 